Hi, you are welcome on the continuity channel. In this video I am going to tell you about the next type of mechanical seal. That is about pusher seal and non-pusher seal. That is what is pusher seal and non-pusher seal? What is the difference between them? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of these seals? Before the start if you have not seen the previous videos of the mechanical seal then look them first. So that you can understand well. Let's start. At first I tell you about the pusher seal. That is what is pusher seal? How many types of it? What are the advantages and disadvantages of them? Now, pusher seal. Pusher seal is basically installed with the single spring or multiple springs as well as movable o-ring, which act as a secondary seal. Spring is used to maintain the contact between the seal faces and o-ring is used to prevent the leakage between the sleeve and rotary unit. As its name shows, it moves on the sleeve or shaft with the help of spring to maintain the contact of seal faces. That is rotary seal face and stationary seal face. On the rotary ring, closing force is applied by the springs to maintain the contact between the seal faces. This types of seal is used for low temperature and light liquid services such as ethylene, propane, methane, butane, etc. Look in this figure. These are pusher seal. The main identification of the pusher seal is that it has spring. It means that if a seal has a spring or multiple springs then it will be pusher seal. Now, types of pusher seal. That is how many types of pusher seal? There are two types of pusher seal. First single spring seal and second multi spring seal. If a pusher seal has only one spring then it is called single spring seal. And if pusher seal uses number of springs then it is called multi spring seal. Look in this figure. This is a single spring seal. Because there is a only one spring in the seal. So it is known as single spring seal. Now advantages and disadvantages of the single spring seal. It has following advantages, such as, low starting torque is required. It is non-clogging, because it uses only one spring which provides larger clearance between itself and sleeve as compared to multi-spring seal. Spring of low spring constant is used. Now, its disadvantages, such as, due to single spring design, it causes non-uniform seal loading. Hence, these types of seals are not recommended for the very high rotational speed. For its installation, it requires long axial space. Now multi-spring seal. Look in this figure. This is a multi-spring seal. You are looking that it has number of spring. Not any single spring. So it is called multi-spring seal. Now. I am going to tell you about the advantages and disadvantages of the multi-spring seal. Its advantages are as follows. That, number of small springs are used on the periphery of the seal face to give a uniform face loading. Because single spring does not give uniform loading on the seal faces. So multiple small springs are used for uniform loading on the seal faces. Due to uniformly loading on the seal faces, the multi-spring seals are used for high RPM application. Now, disadvantages, such as, it is more expensive as compared to the single spring seal. In multi-spring seal, spring clogged is possible for dirty liquid. Now, come on the next type of mechanical seal, that is non-pusher seal. Now, I am going to tell you about the non-pusher seal. That is what is non-pusher seal? And what are its advantages and disadvantages? Listen carefully. A. Non-pusher type of seal has a bellows assembly. Do you know what is bellows? Don't worry. I tell you about bellows. A bellows is a component that acts as both like a spring and a secondary sealing element like in a pusher type of seal. It means, a bellows has both characteristics that is, 
It acts as a spring and secondary sealing element simultaneously. You will notice that pusher seal has spring but non-pusher seal has not spring. It has bellows. Since the bellows prevents any leakage to the atmospheric side of the seal and has a large clearance between itself and the shaft or sleeve, it can move freely in the axial direction without hang-up. In non-pusher type of seal, no any dynamic o-ring is required to move the bellows on the sleeve. But in the pusher type of seal o-ring is compulsory to move the seal ring to maintain the contact between the rotary seal face and stationary seal face. In non-pusher seal, closing force is supplied by the bellows. But in pusher seal, closing force is applied by the spring. Non-pusher seal can be used in high temp services using metal bellows. Metal bellows use graphoil as a secondary seal to handle high temperature. Look in this figure. These are the non-pusher type of seal. Its identification is that it has bellows not spring. But pusher type of seal has spring, not bellows. That's all. Now I am going to stop this session. I hope you understand well. Thank you. Have a nice day.